Hi, my name is Madison, but everyone calls me Maddie, for short. Sure. I'm 12 years old, born in 2003, January 4th. I go to Jameer Baccalaureate School, or JBS for short. It's awesome. I'm from Perth in Australia, but most of my family lives in the Gold Coast. We love Australia because we're surrounded by crystal clear waters. I may be from Australia, but I live in Dubai, which has the tallest building in the world, some of the longest and busiest roads, and beautiful beaches. Dubai also has massive dancing fountains and the biggest mall ever. Dubai may be an awesome place to live, but it's really hot, full of deserts, palm trees, and lots and lots of camels. Because Dubai is so hot, we all need to stay hydrated, so we drink lots of water, mainly from the plastic water bottles that you find in supermarkets. Yep, it's a pretty big item here in Dubai. But Dubai has one problem. What is it? Dubai can't recycle its waste effectively. People don't care where all of their trash goes, as long as it doesn't stay and stink up the house. Now that's pretty bad. But have you ever really sat down and wondered about where it goes? I can tell you. It ends up in birds' throats, suffocating them, and in turtles' stomachs as well. It's bad. It also pollutes the water that you swim in and the ground that you walk on. It's really, really bad. And it's our fault. Every term in school, we do a special math investigation. Last year, we had to do a movie about mathematical mistakes, only a few minutes long. My video, it was about a series called The Flash. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. This year, we're making a video about plastic water bottle waste, where it comes from, where it goes, those kind of things. My math teacher is called Mr. Crossley, and he really cares about the environment. I guess you could say he loves it. All the plastic water bottles we waste have just been thrown into a dump. But now that dump is full and is closing. That dump was in Alcacés. Where will our waste go now? It'll go to the new Alain 2 landfill, being 100 meters deep, 2 kilometers long, and 2 kilometers wide. How many water bottles will fit into this landfill? How many water bottles do Dubai schools waste every year? And how long will it actually take to fill up this new landfill? I really want to know. But I want to be sure. To start off with, I had to count all the water bottles in JBS. That was pretty hard. In total, in one day, there are 837 bottles. That's a lot. With that information, I calculated a lot of things. But to make it easier, quicker, and Again, easier to understand, I'm only going to tell you the most important things. You know, the things you need to know. There are f Let's get to it. There are five. Every student wastes around 0.98 of a water bottle every day. So that means most of you aren't drinking enough water. My working's covered. There are five school days a week. 185 school days per year and 158 schools in Dubai, including JBS, of course. That means an average of 1,875 students in each school. That's a lot. 1,838 water bottles get wasted per school per day, and that means 9,189 bottles get wasted per school per week. That's close to 340,000 water bottles per school per year which comes to a close number of 54,000 water bottles. That's how many water bottles that are wasted in total in Dubai in, for each school each year. But that's just the number of water bottles. I want to know how long it's going to take to fill up this landfill. The landfill is around 400 million cubic meters. So how long is it really going to take? Here's a breakdown. One water bottle is 0 0.0005 cubic meters. 1,838 bottles is nearly half a cubic meter. 
and close to 34,000 bottles, that's nearly 85,000 cubic meters. Also, close to 54 million, that's nearly, hmm, let's say nearly 14,000 cubic meters. That means it would take 29,784 academic school years to fill up this new landfill in Alayantu. My assumptions. Every water bottle was half a liter. No other sizes were considered. The water bottles were not crushed. They stayed in perfect mint condition. When they were aligned and stacked together, they stayed like this. Perfect! For the water wastage of each bot for the wastage of bottles from each school, it was consistent and it stayed the same. As you can see, when the water bottles were aligned and stacked next to each other, there was some space in between the necks of the bottles. These were not considered in my calculations. My limitations. Now, the biggest limitation I had was when I was counting up the water bottles. I did it after school, so there were also some after school clubs going on, and some of the teachers stayed really late after school. Most of them had plastic water bottles. Another limitation I had was that some of the cleaners had already removed some of the plastic water bottles from the bins, so there wasn't an exact number. My main message in this video is that you please reuse and recycle your water bottles. We only have so much landfill, we only get it once. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I learned something valuable from this and I hope that you did too. Thank you for spending your time to watch this. Have a good day!